<laughs> workshop. I swear you'll get your comeuppings one day. And when you do, you'll feel terrible you treated everyone like dirt. Mark my words. <laughs> what is this? A Christmas carol? You wouldn't dare cross me, and neither would anyone else. Now give me your boyfriend's number. No. Fine. We were going to do this the easy way, and now we'll just do this the hard way. I'm going to rip your hair out piece by piece until you give me that number! Ouch, Vivian! I told you not to be so rough during rehearsal. I think you pulled out a couple strands. Well, maybe if you weren't trying to steal my agent from under me, there wouldn't be all this tension. I told you I didn't know he was going to put us against each other. Speak of the devil, literally. Put him on speakerphone! Hey, babe. Fact. You have tremendous breasts. <laughs> Excuse me? What are you talking about? Well, my buddy's the casting director for that audition I just sent you and Sarah on. But he just sent me the web photo album of all the girls who auditioned. And there are some definite hotties, but... Girl, you got a rack that just won't quit. Oh my god, he sent you the link to the pictures. I can't believe he would do that. Here, relax, relax. You have to have a password. Gorgeous Perky's here, but, uh, you know, I don't see Sarah. Uh, yeah, actually, she, um, she was at the audition when I was there, but she didn't feel comfortable taking her top off, so she didn't do it. Really? Wow. Well, looks like you won by default, Vivs. I don't need girls on my roster who don't play ball. Screw you! What the hell was that? Uh, nothing. Just watching soccer on TV. Well, look, uh, I will be in touch if he wants you in for a callback, and if so... Are you ready to show off that birthday suit? <sighs> See you in BJ now. He really is the devil. I can't believe he dropped me again. I refuse to go in for that callback. We've got to get him back. Matthew, so good to see you. I've left you several messages, though. I haven't heard from you. Matthew, old pal. <laughs> I know it's 3.30 in the morning, but I can't sleep. I need my greens, if you know what I mean. So, call me. I'll be up all night. Honey, what are you doing in there? I hear talking. Nothing! Go back to bed! Uh, I'm telling my bladder to hurry it up. <laughs> Matthew, you hear what I have to put up with? I can't deal with real life, okay? I need this. Call me, please. Look, I'm sorry, okay? But I can't score you any more pot. Tom and Jeremy have cracked down on the set and no one can leave with any weed. What? It doesn't sound like those guys. Well... Oh no, Matthew. Tell me that you haven't gotten in trouble again. Well, actually... I can't handle this right now, Matthew. Okay, okay, all right. Just, will you calm down for a second? If you're not careful, you're gonna <laughs> blow a valve here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Relax, okay? It's fine. Okay, listen, listen, listen. I will find a way to get you more weed. Just do not drop dead right here, please. Thank you. Thank you. All right, just Do whatever it takes. Yeah, I got it. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you. I, I'll pay double. Just please, hurry. Hi, Kathy. You got good news? Jeff, you didn't tell me you were interested in reality TV. I could have been getting you in the door tons of times. What? What are you talking about? The casting director from the new reality show The Biggest Gainer just called. She said you auditioned for her today, which you should have told me. And they loved you. They're sending the contracts over right now. <laughs> we did it, Jeff. We did it. <laughs> I'm glad you came to get
your senses. Yeah, and I thought about it and decided, you know what? Are you secretly taking ten dollars now from my Ambro Relax paycheck for yourself and trying to pit me against my friend Sarah and not getting me into any auditions except for ones where I have to show my breasts? Well, that's not reason enough to stop me seeing you. I just like you too much. Mm. Well, what did I tell you about that L word before? I'm sorry. I mean, I enjoy spending time in your presence. Mm. There you go. Let's make this happen. I don't want to be late for work. Um, well, you know where the bedroom is. Yes, I do, darling. Yes, I do. Who the hell are you? Oh, this is my friend, Flagstaff. I called him yesterday and told him all about you. Flagstaff. Great name, pal. Thanks, ma'am. And my parents named me where I was consummated. It was either Flagstaff or Graham Butts. Flagstaff was just telling me all about his old rodeo days. Yeah. King County bull riding champion for years. Kind of a big deal in Texas. Hmm? Well, you certainly seem like you're reliving your glory days, so I'm going to leave you guys to it. Um, you have a big day there. Well, no, no, hold, hold up a minute there, Hoss. And I hear you got a bunch of pictures of my nice lady friend here's coconuts. You know what? I think I, I do, actually, and I'll go grab it. Well, no, I'm going to ask you. You ever been to a rodeo and seen one of them? Angry bulls. Just crashing on one of them silly little rodeo clowns? No. Adam. <laughs> the founders of Anti Pave LA are so excited to have a celebrity of your stature show interest in being the face of the charity. Anything for the earth. <laughs> uh, but I was under the impression that I was going to meet the founders today. Yeah, um, well here's the deal, Adam. Um, the founders know you're a rising movie star, and I have explained your network promos to them as well, but um, they haven't actually seen anything you've done. They are only going on the gossip in the tabloids and um, that's a little bit of a concern. Just a little, little bit. Just a little Just bit. Just a little yeah, bit of a concern. Yeah. Okay, here's a big concern that I have. Those tabloids? They're all lies. Yeah, just a little bit of a lie. Just a little bit of a lie, but it's really a big lie, okay? Yeah, it's really a big lie, okay? Because I'm not addicted to heroin. I'm not addicted to meth. I do not have a drug problem. Maybe an anger problem, mm -hmm. but that's it, okay? Would you be willing to take a drug test? Do you have a cup? Or do you just want me to pee on the desk right now? <laughs> that's, that's great. That's great, Adam. Let's do it. The, you know, the founders are going to be so pleased. And um, if this comes out clean, <sighs> I think this will be a great partnership. Great. This will be great. Great. Great, great partnership. Yeah. And, and what am I doing in this, this partnership? Oh, a print campaign. Wow. A few PSAs. Wow. And of course, they want you in Malibu in a few weeks for the ceremonial first day. C ceremonial first day of what? Oh, you don't know. <laughs> Anti Pave LA just got the permits to start covering the Pacific Coast Highway with dirt. We want footage of you shoveling sand from the beach onto the road in hemp shorts. <sighs> Over the next eight weeks, these overly healthy, skinny young men will compete for the prize of $100,000. They'll be stuffing their faces with fatty foods, sticky sweets, all the most unhealthy food you can imagine. We'll watch their six packs melt into beer bellies right before our very eyes. Each week, 
one of them will be eliminated. Kill only the chunkiest remain. And to train them, we plucked two plump tourists right off the streets of Vegas, Rick and Susan. We were on our second lunch at the buffet at the Excalibur when, when the producers came up to us and asked us if we wanted to be food trainers. Oh, we're so excited to share our face stuff and secrets with these young men. If you're that skinny where we come from, people will think you're a little fruity. Oh, fruit. Oh, that'd be good. Eat some chocolate sauce Ooh, on One of them chocolate fountains. Oh, <gasps> yummy. yummy. <laughs> okay, okay. Here's some ground rules. Number one. You do not leave this house unless it's for the show. I don't want to hear about any of you going for a little jog, little run, anything like that. Number two, forget your healthy habits. No sit-ups, no push-ups, no pull-ups, no up-ups. And number three, you must eat everything on your plate. Just think about all the starving children in the... Uh, Wherever. Anyway, um, are we ready? All right, boys. May the fattest man win! Okay, um, like I said, this is just a rough cut that we had to turn in for class, so I'm gonna get you a finished product in just a few weeks, okay? I don't care if it's a rough cut. I just need footage. It's been two months. Well, what I mean is, like, we haven't done the color correction yet, and the audio levels still aren't perfect yet. Whatever. So... Let's just watch this thing. Okay. How's it going? Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, so, um, like I said, that's a rough cut, but uh, I'm gonna get you a finished product in a few weeks, okay? And I know the color was a little bit off, but did you at least like the music? I thought it was pretty good. My friend did it. Are you upset? I mean, I mean, I know the camera was a little bit shaky, but it was kind of tough to get you straight on, you know, while you were running in that field. Would you please say something? You cut out all of my dialogue. All of it! I, I thought the film turned out a lot better without you talking. <laughs> Ugh, but now I can't use any of the footage! <laughs> well, that sucks. But, hey, if it makes you feel any better, at least we got an A on the project, so it's cool. So our first challenge today was a peanut butter sandwich eating competition, which could not have worked out better for me. I've been eating PB sandwiches every day since I was a little kid. Who's my biggest competition? Uh, yeah, that'd be Jeff Reynolds. D did you see that guy? He he's a monster, man. I've never seen anybody tear through peanut butter like he tears through peanut butter. Come on, boys, Hello. stuff that stuff down. Come on, eat that peanut butter like you're mad at it. Come on. Folding stuff, Jeff. Folding stuff. 14 sandwiches in one sitting. Are you kidding me? How are we supposed to compete with that? Come on, dip it in the soda. Come oh, on. Let's go. You can change it. Let's go. Stop it now. He's going to spew. He's going to spew. <laughs> Pussy. Oh, yeah. I can totally maintain this pace. Sweet. No more bussing tables for me. Maybe I'll get some exposure as an actor out of this. Fine. We could have done this the easy way. Now we're going to do this the hard way. <laughs> I'm going to rip your hair out piece by piece until you give me that number. Nice girl, the boys finished fast! Oh, man.
friends from betting on worse's tears. Although I did know the winner in race number six. You're a shotgun mother. You should put all your money on shotgun mother. <laughs> oh God, no! Shotgun mother! Tammy? Tammy? You, you better not be faking. Tammy! Oh no, Tammy! What have I done? I didn't want the number really, I just wanted to make you mad. I'm so sorry! Tammy! Oh, oh, Tammy! Oh, wake up! That would teach you to be mean to me. You, uh, you, uh, really, you got to me. <laughs> Oof, Sarah, <laughs> I didn't know you had it in you, and, uh, wow, British, good Lord, you, uh, you play a great bitch. Thanks, Terry. <laughs> you kind of do. You should put all your money on shotgun, mother. <laughs> everybody, everybody listen up. <laughs> Terry? has just made a big decision. <laughs> we are going to do our annual student showcase next month. <laughs> so you people start working on your scenes. Uh, and you, Sarah, Vivian, I want to show you and this scene off to the whole industry. Mm -hmm. As, as soon as possible, <laughs> as soon as possible. <laughs> oh, 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 what an inspiration. <laughs> hey, buddy. You know anywhere I can get some weed? Excuse me? Pot. You know where I can get some? I need some. It's not for me, seriously. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Yo, yo. I don't want to be awkward or anything, but I need some, some pot. Do you have any? Mary Jane? The big broccoli? You smoke it, then you watch a Beatles show. Maybe you eat a couple of potato chips. I don't understand. Matthew. Hey. Outside. Now. All right. We're just gonna knock things over. Okay, hey, what are you doing? I know, dude, I'm, I'm really sorry. You don't hassle my students for pot, you understand? Look, I'm really, really sorry. You come to me, amigo. What? You come to me! How much you want? Are you serious? Yeah! Uh, I don't know, like a half o? Pfft, done deal, that's all. Now listen, listen, we'll smoke out after class. All right. right now, I need you to go back in there or like I just chewed your ass. <laughs> yeah, all right. all right, I got it, I'm, wi I'm with all you. Right? you with me? Come here, come here, I'm so oh, happy. You <laughs> are, ooh, 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 Back in, ready? Yeah. Ready? Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Workshop. We want to see the contestants eat a whole cow. Horns, hooves. <laughs> I'm vegetarian. Eat that meat. Eat that meat. I liked it when you weren't famous. He's in my stomach. It'll be permanent. Get me a chronic. Be the son that I never had. You have a son.